Quick update video on the snakes. Got the 75 gallon tank here that we used to have the Colombian and the Bolivian in. I uh, got rid of the Colombian, we gave him to my cousin, moved the Bolivian into this tank, which the Burmese python used to be in. We got rid of the Burmese python. So in here we just have the Bolivian and our new coral sun glow boa. Um, the tank's the exact same as in the last video, but for those of you who haven't seen the last video, 150 gallon tanks, 2 feet deep, 2 feet tall, 5 feet wide. Um, so big I had to do a custom standing canopy because I couldn't find anything. Only difference from last video is if you've seen the last one, you remember that the entire top is screen mesh. Um, this one I've cut that down to just a little section with instead of just 150 watt, we have 250 watt um, ceramic heat bulb lamps. Uh, keeps the heat in a lot better. They don't need you know the entire screen top for air circulation, so it holds in heat and all that quite nicely. And in the last video, to get in the tank, you have to lift up the entire thing here. I've changed that. I've added some hinges on the back and some locks on the front, kind of like window locks. So now, the entire thing just lifts up. Now on this side, I've got this lock, so when I do lift it up, I can walk away and leave it open, makes it easy when I'm cleaning it, try and get them out, it's a real pain in the ass to get, uh, get the snakes out of there before, so this makes it a lot easier. All right, so for the snakes themselves, we have the Colombian and, or I'm sorry, the Bolivian and our coral sun glow here. Coral sun glow likes to act tough, but she's pretty nice. And then we've got the Bolivian. Both just awesome snakes. Both of them ate all four snakes actually. I'm going to be showing you in this video ate last night. And the uh, Bolivian just shed last night, so I'm not going to mess with any of them too much. Go ahead and close this, put the locks on, and it keeps the top on there pretty snug. And that's it for the 150 gallon tank with the Bolivian and the Coral Sun Glow. Switch around here to this side. This is our tree snake cage. In here we have a um, two neonates, a um, Aru Biok Outcross um, Green Tree Python and a High White Emerald Tree Boa. We'll start with the cage itself, it's sitting on a wood hexagon stand there. It's a 60 gallon tall hexagon tank. The lid, wooden lid with a cutout for screen with uh, two heat lamps. Um, kind of go into this a little bit more detail. This heat lamp right here gives off light because it's waterproof um, because we have our tube back here which runs down to our humidifier on the bottom which is on a timer. So this humidifier runs during the day and uh, you know if I were to run this one over here the ceramic heat lamp it would bust that so kind of a complicated design I got going here it's you know the humidifier runs on a timer these two run on separate timers three timers in the back here you can see them one right there one right there one right there so this one stays on during the day for 12 hours Humidi uh, humidifier comes on throughout that time then at about six o'clock hopefully this won't shut off I mean it's about six o'clock right now um, this this one turns off this one turns on and the humidifier doesn't come on until the morning so humidifier only comes on with the waterproof lamp the ceramic heat lamp dur runs during the night to give night heat that way they get a 12 12 hour photo period they get uh, humidity and they get heat 24 7 so I think it's working pretty great here we have the tank we have uh, kinda like the tree stuff grapevine I don't know what it is that you can get from um, any reptile store or uh, pet smart anything like that what we've done in ours instead of doing uh, like PVC pipe or something like that doesn't look real we've just taken this we've stood it up and we've got wood underneath all of our underneath our substrate here so this runs down and then screws into the wood underneath all this so it's it's freestanding it stands just like a tree it doesn't lean up against the glass it doesn't uh doesn't rock back and forth it just stands just like a tree it's solid um, got the water dish underneath there we've got the vines wrapped around it so that they can hide and stuff but uh, they don't really hide too much I mean they're both pretty uh, pretty cool snakes I know you're not supposed to have two I mean two tree snakes let alone two different species in the same tank but they've both been in here since neonates they both um, don't mind each other they're both eating regularly shedding regularly uh, they do totally fine with each other so here is our Arubiak green tree python. 
And in the back there, you can see dead center of the screen, is our emerald tree boa. They're both going through color change. Let me pop off the top here. Get you guys a better view. There we go. The cameras never do justice to these little guys, but you can see him right there just chilling. As you can see he's not aggressive, he's not trying to strike at me, he's just, he chills, you know. You can kind of pet him. But I haven't picked him up, touched him yet, because they're still too young, they haven't been sexed. We'll come back around here to the emerald. You can see he's got a lot of green coming through on him. Um, pretty nice as well, like I said, you can touch him. Uh, but we haven't picked them up yet, so we don't know actually how aggressive this guy's going to be. Most emeralds, if you don't know, are just pissy-ass mean snakes, so hopefully this one will be different. You can see he's got a lot of white on him. Pretty good-looking snake. Other than that, you can kind of see a better view of the branches on the inside of the tank there. Really proud of this tank. Was not cheap to make, almost like a thousand dollars, I mean... Just the, the tank itself and all the branches and humidifier and the different heat lamps and the timers. But it was worth it. You know, it's sitting right next to my big screen in my living room. So it's uh, it's definitely, I want it to look good. And it does. Um, so that's it. I mean, got the two, two tree snakes there. You can see the one in the bin right up here and the one towards the back. That's their tank. And we'll come look back at the Bolivian and the Coral Sun Glow. That's all of our snakes. Thanks for watching.